Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we are going to be discussing the difference between pricing with Elementor and Webflow. Okay, so you might be wondering, why am I putting this video together? Now, if you saw last week's video, you will know that I'm currently on a journey to discovering what solution I can use aside from WordPress because of the type of problems I've been having with WordPress and Elementor. Now, if you've looked into Webflow, the biggest question that you might have is its pricing and trying to justify its pricing and wondering whether it's even worth it at all. So in this video, we're going to be discussing whether Webflow pricing is worth it when you compare it to the pricing of WordPress. All right. So for the longest time, I have been using WordPress and the biggest thing that attracted me to it was the fact that it's a free open source platform. And at the time when I had no money, I didn't have to pay any money. Okay, so it was fantastic. And originally I was building websites from scratch using uh, designs, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and building it into the PHP platform that WordPress works on. Essentially we were building individual bespoke themes for our clients, which took a huge amount of time. But it didn't matter because it was free. <laughs> the only thing I had to buy or spend was time. But very quickly as things developed, we then had to start relying on additional plugins. And eventually we decided to invest into Elementor, which is our no code tool of choice that we're currently using with WordPress at the moment. But that's when things started to become a little bit more expensive. Now that is just on the platform itself, okay? That is not including the cost of hosting. One of the biggest costs with owning a website is hosting. And depending on the type of hosting platform that you get, it could range anywhere from a couple dollars a month all the way up to like $20, $30 a month if you were to have a really big website that requires a lot of server space or web space. When it comes to pricing on the WordPress side of things, it started off pretty efficient, but quickly became less efficient the more that we were relying on monthly subscription plans for plugins and tools and hosting and things like that. So let's flip that over to Webflow, which is a all in one solution, which means that you build your website within Webflow Again, using no code tools. So it's a drag and drop editor where you can just drag your web elements onto the page and you have a panel where you can style them. It is so easy, it's, it's great. But one of the things that could be considered negative about it is its pricing and the fact that you have to host your website on their platform. You can't develop a Webflow website, use the concept management system that's available to you and then bring that website away and host it on your own hosting, okay? It's all self-managed within Webflow, which is a huge drawback for a lot of people. But here's why I think it's great. One, one of the biggest problems with WordPress that I've identified more recently is its security, okay? And this comes down to how secure your website is, how, how up-to-date WordPress is, how up-to-date your plugins are. It also comes down to the security on your hosting, okay? So if you're using a cheap, nasty hosting, you could encounter problems. You don't get that with Webflow because Webflow has given you a very premium service off the bat. The other thing I just mentioned with WordPress is the fact that you have to update plugins and things like that. There's a lot of maintenance resource that you need to invest in in order to keep your website secure. With Webflow, you don't need to worry about that. Now, everything is kept up to date for you and it doesn't rely on plugins and third party resources in order to have the website function like WordPress does. So when you're looking at Webflow and the pricing that it costs to have a Webflow website, it's around 15 to $20, $20 a month if you want the content management system included. If you are moving from WordPress over to Webflow, the chances are you do want the content management system. But for 20 pounds a month or $20 a month, you, you know, you're really getting a lot for it. You're having this incredibly secure, fast, reliable hosting platform that your website is hosted on and it's incredibly fast okay like the webflow website speeds are insane as i mentioned in the last video all you need to do is find a website hosted on webflow if you can't find one head to the webflow uh, showcase library there's loads in there load that web url into google page speeds or gt metrics and honestly you'll be blown away about by how fast those websites are Okay, so my battery just died on the camera. I've had to replace it, which means that I moved the camera so the setting might not be quite the same. Uh, but anyway, that's the reason why. So as I was saying, while we're on the topic of page speed, one thing that I'm currently in the process of doing is replicating my WordPress Elemental website into Webflow. And I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison as to what the page speeds are. And I, know, I already know that the, the page speed is gonna be better. I just wanna show you guys how much better that's gonna be. So that will be rolling out as a video 
in the next couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, depending on the content timeline. But make sure you stay tuned for that. So the purpose of this video was to see whether Webflow pricing is worth it when you compare it to the likes of WordPress, which is open source and free, and Elementor, which is a annual subscription. And the answer for me personally is I do think it is worth it. I think the fact that Webflow is $15 per month for a hosted website is fantastic. And it's $20 if you want to implement the content management system as well, which if you're coming from WordPress, chances are you want to be able to add blog posts or post types or anything of the sort. So for a CMS based website, 15, uh, sorry, $20 per month really isn't a lot of money because the amount of value and reassurance that you get when using Webflow from what I've seen so far is second to none. So that's kind of why I'm in the process of exploring why Webflow would be a fantastic solution for both my agency and my clients moving forward. Now, if you've got any questions so far about Webflow um, pricing, I'd love to hear them. What's your experience with Webflow? If any of you have used it already, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Also, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification too, and you'll be notified of future releases. And there is a end screen coming up, which has more valuable content. If you are a designer looking to up your website design game, then you're gonna find that valuable. So make sure you stick around and check that out. But that's it for me today, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.